What up, though? It's your boy, DJ Marcellus, though. And I want to say thank you for purchasing our pre-programmed sound switch profile. Now, in this video, I'm going to go over the simple steps of getting the profile installed and uploaded into your sound switch. First, once you complete your purchase, a download link will then appear right after your purchase is complete. Once your purchase is complete and you download the profile, go ahead and open up the zip file. Now, the actual profile is contained in another zip folder, so you will need to extract that into your desired location. Now, before we extract that, we need to find out where we would like to place our profile in our desired location. So, for me, I like to place mine within my music folder. So, on the Windows machine, you will go to your music folder and then go to your sound switch. Once on your sound switch folder, you then will drag over your project into your sound switch folder. Now, since I already have this over, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. And we're going to go ahead and open up sound switch. Now, once we open up sound switch, if you're new to this, you will then see uh, the default profile is loaded here. So we have blank venue, demonstration, gig bar move, but this is not the profile that we want. We will then need to go over to file, open project, and then search for your newly uploaded both lighting pre-programmed project. Now it should have the most recent date or month located in the file's name. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this BLUSASS as this is the most recent project of the recording of this video. So now we could see that the name of the venue changed, uh, our fixture groups over here changed, and our profile is now successfully uploaded. Once your file is successfully uploaded, you can then go to file, switch mode, and now you're ready to get ready for performance mode. Now head over to the next video to figure out how to get that all set up.